Cakey Plays, Mint Pocket Miners, Steve Rose, Kit Glenwright, Angela Richardson, Mackenzie Horan, and the G&G &G channel all request a prop laptop. Thanks for your patience, everyone. I'm happy to finally get a chance to build this one. Materials for this prop include cardboard, aluminum tape, duct tape, electrical tape, a quarter inch diameter dowel rod, a handsaw, two pencil grips, adhesive foam squares, a white colored pencil, adhesive velcro, black poster board, a ruler, scissors, and a pen or pencil. First, draw and cut out your templates. You'll need the following pieces. Two small 13 inch by 9.5 inch pieces, two larger 14.5 inch by 10.5 inch pieces, one center brace and one keyboard cutout, each the same size as the larger piece. Keep in mind that I rounded the edges after the initial sizing. Ultimately, the pieces will lie in the following order. A small piece, a large piece, the center brace, the keyboard cutout, another large piece, and the last small piece. Lay the first small piece in the center of a large piece. Duct tape the two pieces together on the corners. Run extra duct tape along the sides where the pieces meet. About an inch from the top, start running lengths of black electrical tape on the flat surface. Cover the piece to about an inch from the bottom. Cover the back, that is, the side with the small piece on top of it, with aluminum tape. Be sure it wraps just barely around the edge. Add lengths of aluminum tape to the side with the electrical tape to create straight lines around the screen. Cut the dowel rod so that it fits snugly in the gap of the center brace piece. Place the pencil grips on either side of the dowel rod. Using the brace piece as a guide, place the dowel rod on the screen piece and duct tape it in place, leaving the pencil grips exposed. Cover the duct tape in aluminum tape, including any excess on the back of the screen piece. Cut two strips of cardboard about an inch thick and about 18 inches long each. Bend them to make them more malleable. Wrap each one around one pencil grip. Take your second small piece and place it beneath the strips of cardboard. Duct tape the strips to the piece. Place the larger piece on top of the smaller piece so the strips are now sandwiched. Line up the top piece with the sides of the screen piece. Duct tape the large piece and small pieces together as you did for the earlier set. Wrap the back of the second piece in aluminum tape. On the second piece, on the edge closest to the screen, place a length of aluminum tape. Lay the center brace piece on top and wrap its edge in aluminum tape. Place adhesive foam squares at its corners and attach it to the second piece. Cut the excess off the cardboard strips and duct tape them to the piece, all the way to the back. You should pull the strips taut before taping. This is what will allow the screen to stand by itself. Place the next piece of duct tape horizontally near the hinge. This will give it just enough give to move. Repeat for the second cardboard strip. Trace onto the black poster board so there is enough to go under the keyboard plate and cut it out. Wrap the keyboard plate in aluminum tape. Sandwich the black poster board between the laptop and the keyboard plate. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the keyboard plate. Be sure to use a lot as this piece is a lot more flimsy than the others. Secure the edges of the laptop using duct tape and cover it with aluminum tape. Slide a piece of duct tape between the screen piece and the pencil grips on each side and attach them to the main body of the laptop. Cover the duct tape with aluminum tape. Cover all remaining gaps and edges with aluminum tape. Use the leftover poster board to create the keyboard keys. I made my keys 5 8 inches each. For longer keys, I doubled or tripled the amount. The spacebar was 5 or 6 regular keys. Use the white colored pencil to add symbols. Cut adhesive foam squares to appropriate sizes and use them to attach the keys to the keyboard. 
Finally, attach adhesive Velcro squares to the top and bottom edges of the laptop so it can remain closed. And there's your finished laptop. Any ideas for a gambit for this one, Alex? Well, if you put on a suit and tie, you look like a secret agent. Perfect! <laughs>